Hi, I'm Mike Thompson. In this video, I'm going to talk about my little Kindar Tone Simulator. I've been kind of into the whole space news stuff lately, especially with the couple disasters we've had recently. Uh, the deadline to submit your name to NASA for including on the December 4th test flight just passed October 31st. I went ahead and signed my son up, so his name will fly in space. To go with my little Orion paper model that I'm working on from NASA and my solar system model, I went ahead and decided to throw back to the Apollo days when they used to use those Kindar tones, you know, when they would transmit to and from the spacecraft. So, my programming uh, knowledge is coming along fairly well, but I've created this little simulator here that uses my piezo element from my sound box to simulate transmitting data. There's two separate frequencies that they use. When they're going to transmit something, they'll transmit it at 2525, and then when they release the push to talk, uh, it'll beep at 2475. And the purpose of this was to signal relays along the chain uh, so that they would, the relays would know when to transmit and when to receive. But, so I've got a little button here. I use interrupts on pins 2 and 3 to monitor the rise or the fall of my pin and that then sends the signal to my buzzer to sound those tones. So, as you can see, uh, not very practical, but it is kind of cool, and it's nice to make something and actually understand kind of what's going on in the code. But I'll try to make this code available as well. So I'm not quite sure how to do that yet, if you saw my other video. I'm still working on it, but I'll probably post it on my website or something like that, uh, mikesinventions.com. But thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.